Yo, what's going on guys? Why 5 care Welcome to a new player review. Today we have the 82 rated first and from Pellegrini. His price right now is around 17k and for 17k you can get a center mid with this stats. 79 base, 72 shooting, 82 passing, 82 dribbling with 75 physical and 75 defending. Really good all rounded stats. Anyway, now let's see his in game stats 77 sprint speed, 82 shot power, 78 long shots, 82 vision, 88 short pass, 85 long pass, 85 ball control, 82 dribbling, 85 composure, 73 heading accuracy, 72 marking, 77 stand tackle, 75 slide tackle, 70 jumping with 80 stamina. Really good around the stats for a center mid. Work rate of medium medium, which is not the best work rate you can get for a center mid. 3 star weak foot with 3 star skill moves, which is not bad. Anyway, guys, this is the theme that I'm going with to review 82 rated first in form by the Creamy. Now, before going into the gameplay, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video, that will be appreciated. Now, let's jump into the gameplay and let's see what 82 rated Pellegrini can do. Eighty-two rated first and from Pellegrini. Is he a good center mid to have on your team? We will see on this gameplay. First of all, of course, this is the first and form for Pellegrini this year. He have really good all-rounded stats. You can play him as a center defending mid, center mid, or a center attacking mid. But the question is, is he good in game? Anyway, now before going into the good and positive things, real quick, let's talk about the best game style to use with him. For me, without the games I have played with him, I used anchor game style, which increases base, defending, and physical. And as you can see here, this is his stats with the anchor game style: 84 base, 83 defending, with 79 physical. Now moving on into the good and positive things, starting off with the best thing with him, his passing. He really surprised me about his passing, he have really good passing with such amazing vision. The best three things about his passing, his short pass, long pass and vision, not bad crossing as well. I have played with him 5 games and he assisted 4 goals, amazing. Anyway guys, now moving on to another great thing with him, which is his defending. For real, you can't believe how great his defending is. Yes, I know he have only 75 defending, but in game you'll feel like he have at least 82 defending. If you play him as a center defending mid, 100% he will do the job. Just if he had high defending work rate, that will be much better. Now what about his dribbling, does he have bad dribbling in game? The answer will be no actually his dribbling is very good. He have a good base for a center mid which really helps him, good ball control, agility and balance but his reactions is kind of bad and for me reactions does really matter in game. Anyway guys now moving on into the bad things that first and foremost better Greeny have. Starting off with his finishing, yes his finishing is really bad, he have 65 finishing which is bad of course, and in front of goal with me he missed a lot and a lot of shots. But his long shots and shot power is not bad at all, I have scored with him 2 long shots in 5 games, and as you all know it's very hard to score long shots on FIFA 19. Anyway guys I'm moving on into another bad thing which is his stamina. Yes I know he have 80 stamina but he is a center mid, he will be attacking and defending all the game. For me his stamina is bad for a center mid, in the end I really think he's a good center mid, I'm not gonna say he's a great center mid, good base, passing, dribbling and defending. For me I give him 7.5 out of 10 because of his base, long shots, dribbling, passing and defending. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and tell me in the comment below which player do you wanna see next. I will see you all in the next video, peace.